I bought an 80 year old lady's massive collection of craft supplies and we're checking out the number 67. Wow, this is exciting because normally we have these super organized um, organizer container things. <laughs> and now we've got some loose beads and jewelry pieces and jewelry findings. Um, so I'm ecstatic to go through these. It just feels a bit more of a treasure hunt this way. So these are all by Bead Gallery and there are some gorgeous, gorgeous colors in here. I love the little seashells and these pinks. Oh my gosh, pink is my favorite color. And so those are super exciting. I love this hot pink. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And oh my gosh, look at these little hearts. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, yes. Okay, I'm already excited. <laughs> I swear this series is going to make me a jewelry maker because, or I'm just going to hoard a bunch of beads and look at them um, because they're just so precious. I mean, I've been seeing stuff in here I've never seen before. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Wow, that color. We have a large starfish. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this one was handmade or not, but it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are those Millifori, I think they're called. I might have, I might have made that up. Um, I think they're Italian glass or Italian beads. We have some, I can't really tell what those are, but gorgeous beads. Some nickel free findings. Those look like they're for earrings. Oh, oh my gosh, camera, please. No, of course, it never picks up how absolutely beautiful these are. Also, if you can hear that thundering, it's it's squirming here. Um, we got some shiny beads. Oh my gosh, some watermelon. Oh my gosh, this whole bag is just goodness. And whoa, these feel like erasers, but they're not. Okay, that rainbow candy. Oh my gosh, I was talking about how one of the previous... <gasps> I was talking about one of the previous, I lost my train of thought now, um, organizers had beads that look like candy. That That is actually beads that are made to look like candy, but look, oh, oh, look, 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 look at these. What the heck? The cutest little birds. I swear this woman had the most eclectic, eclectic collection of beads that I've ever seen. And by the way, if you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, my name is Stephanie. I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop called Bottom of the Bin. We're located in Tampa Bay, Florida, and we recently bought an 80-year-old lady's entire collection of craft supplies. We're opening them one bin at a time, checking out all these goodies, all this goodness. And usually, like, our regular customers can just trade stuff in for store credit. Um, we've gotten some collections before, but nothing this large. And it has been an absolute treasure hunt. And the beads, the beads alone have been enough to just, I mean, blow me away. Blow me away. Look at the little metal hearts. Those are super fun. But I am telling you, she had excellent, excellent taste. And this, this is really cool. I am super into the pastels. So anything like this, of course, makes my heart happy and fills me with joy earring post okay oh my gosh do you see those little ladybugs and those are angels and dragonflies oh my gosh i'm not gonna take them all out of the package because it will take forever i'm trying to get to these watermelon though oh so cute so precious i just want to eat them but i won't i won't <laughs> And some snowflakes, which, uh, yeah, she loved, loved Christmas or loves Christmas. Uh, and so we've been seeing a lot of snowflakes and a lot of Christmas stuff in pretty much every, every single bin. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 those are so pretty. So beautiful. Is it amethyst? I think it is. Maybe mixed with something else. I don't really know my stones that well. I know some. Got some green ones there. Oh, those are cute. They're like metal around them and shiny in the middle. Some beautiful blue ones. <gasps> These are so cool. They look like little pieces of artwork. Love that. By Hildy and Joe. <laughs> the random big green bead at a marble. Is it a marble? I've been finding lots of little marbles just randomly. 
Oh, those are wooden beads. That's kind of fun. Wait, these ones actually, I think, are freshwater pearls. If I'm not mistaken, that, be that blue. Oh my gosh, that blue is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the dragonflies. I think she really loved dragonflies. I know she loved butterflies because we saw a lot of those, but we've definitely seen our fair share of dragonflies as well. And those are a beautiful turquoise color. Very nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold on. I need to steal this one. <laughs> Don't want them to go flying everywhere. <gasps> That's purple. I know I've been keeping, or I, I guess I should tell you if you're new here, I've been keeping a few of my favorite beads for no reason other than I think they're pretty. And someone suggested maybe I get a bracelet made to commemorate, commemorate? Is that the right word? To like keep her in my memory forever. Um, <laughs> that makes it sound like she's no longer with us. She's still here. She's still here. She's still crafting, just not on the scale anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I, I gotta keep those because, oh my gosh, the camera actually does show how pretty and shiny those are. I need those for my collection. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's not what I was wooing. That is shiny. These, these are what I was wooing. <gasps> okay, that is really cool. <laughs> I love anything with florals and it's just so pretty. I mean, you wouldn't even have to do anything with this other than string it together and it's just like already a beautiful bracelet. Should I hang on to that one too? Mm, maybe a little chunky for something that I would wear, but man, it's pretty. <gasps> Speaking of pretty, oh. That looks like the galaxy. Oh, there's another one of those. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to keep saying, oh my gosh, there's some repeats in here though. But I see, wait, no, I see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I see angels. <laughs> oh, those are so precious. Wait, why are these so cute? Bead landing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lots, lots to choose from here. Oh, this. Oh my gosh, wait, this might be a really good one. <laughs> I feel like they're all really good ones, but yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got starfish, a baby alligator, a goldfish. Tell me that is not the cutest little goldfish you've ever seen. And it's yours, which is like my favorite ever. Oh, that's a fun one. Man, who would have thought beads could make someone so happy? Oh, ooh, more fishies. <laughs> oh, no, this is going to be a super long video. I'm going to have to control myself here, but I want to see everything. Little martini glasses. Oh, that looks like sea glass. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I got some more candy. Looks like little peppermint candy. That is also beautiful. Pink and like that minty blue color are my absolute favorites. Um, oh, the crystals are cute. Those are definitely plastic, but that's kind of cute. Another one of these. Oh, some more stones. Take a look at those. Those are really, really nice. Beautiful colors. Ooh, leaves. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think maybe she put this one together. I We've been finding a lot of these leaves in the organized containers that she had. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if she made that one herself. Ooh, <laughs> those are nice as well. <gasps> Cute little red cubes. Wait, those are really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. And I'm not like super into reds and yellows, but that looks so nice together. Okay, I love the candy corn. Love the candy corn. Oh my gosh, and these, she had a lot of these in different colors in the organizer, um, the organized ones. And these are stunning, that blue. Oh my gosh, and cute little crystals. And oh my gosh, <laughs> little paws, big green beads, got some silver here. Oh, we got some little dangling um, dragonflies. These are cute as well. We got some uh, pearls, pretty sure those are faux pearls, but I actually don't know. Ooh, moonstone. Wait, moonstone is actually one of 
my favorite scones and wow the camera doesn't really do these justice but super cute we've got some pretty mother of pearl there some more charms green beads more crystals all those blue ones are pretty too oh here's um a little mixture with some cane glass i know we had a ton of cane glass previously so it's nice to see a little bit more wow <laughs> that is cool that is cool come, come on come on that is cool oh i love the heart oh my gosh wait wait Wait, I like all of this. <laughs> oh, anything with like the leaves and the flowers, I just think are so precious. Next, we have all these pretty silver pieces and already I'm obsessed with the fishies. Absolutely love this. We have some nice big um, chunky pieces here. Ooh, some wire wrap stars. That's really cute. And these, I still don't know like what these are technically called, but you like hang. You can hang little things off of them. I'm sure they're gorgeous. Um, that's kind of cool. Can't really tell what that is. We've got some of these wire circle thingies and the dragonflies. Okay, those are really nice. And I like how you could hang it, you know, that way. So it's just like a really nice centerpiece. Yeah, not sure what these are. Not sure. <laughs> she loved her labeling. Her wire spools. I think we saw a bunch of these in another bin as well. So here is a ton more. There's some red, pink, purple, gold, and silver. Love all those colors. This one says wire coils. <laughs> all right. So yeah, not going to pull all this out. But, you know, wire and things are... <laughs> <laughs> in here i just i like the beads i just like the shiny beads but hey there's some in here some stone stone looking ones okay this one's also full of wire we've got some ooh, rainbow colored craft wire we've got ooh a hot pink purple blue that's really cool we do get you know a decent amount of wire through our shop but um i don't tend to see a ton of pretty colors just like the basics but yeah, this has a little bit of everything. And uh, next we have a medium-sized bin labeled braid and cord. All right, it's it's cord, just what you would think, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the little sequins. Those are nice. We've got green. Wow, love all the silver. Look at all the different ones she had. She really had an eclectic collection. Um <laughs> A random seashell, some green ribbon, and silver, and all this. And is that, oh, I don't know why I said ow, that was just tape, but is that a Bob hanging out in the ribbon? Bob, you are so cute. I'm just going to wrap you up and give you as a gift. Just kidding. I'm going to keep him for myself forever and ever. <laughs> We can't give Bob away. That'd be silly. Wow. Oh, ooh, hold on. <laughs> so fun. Man, if anybody is into this, this kind of stuff, they're going to have a field day because these colors are absolutely gorgeous. So cool to see. My gosh, I don't even know what you do with this. I have no idea, but it's pretty and I like it. <laughs> I'll do it for bin number 67. Make sure to follow and subscribe so you don't miss the next unbidding.